This is Fairbanks Stump Grinders cutting down a 75-foot spruce tree in University West in Fairbanks, Alaska. We start by assessing the tree, height, width, and what kind of equipment are going to be used to, to bring the tree down. Then the climber gets up to the tree, gets all of his safety gear on, his belt, his lanyard, his saw tether, hard hat, tree spikes, gloves, etc. The climber then works his way up the tree cutting the limbs flush with the tree as he goes up and the groundy cleans and pulls the brush to the chipper. This is ultimately to reduce the volume of the load that needs to be hauled off of property. Less trips, smaller pieces, cheaper for the customer in the end. As the climber climbs up the tree he will generally move up uh, two to three steps at a time and then take out all of the branches that are at his head level or above so that he's not reaching or extending his saw to an unsafe distance and he works his way around the tree and then moves up another two and a half to three feet and then repeats the process. The climber once he has reached a safe distance from the top of the tree rigs the top of the tree with a pulley and a block and a special wrap device at the bottom so a 200 pound man can lower a 400 pound top safely to the ground. Notice the close proximity to the house if the climber were to drop the chunks off the top of the tree, they would ultimately fall 30 plus feet to the ground and bounce and potentially go through the window or into the house and cause damage. In many cases, you wind up with a backyard that has a fence surrounding or power lines or communication lines or a deck even that's in the way and bringing the tree down as a whole unit is just physically impossible. There's not enough room, there's not enough space and um, the potential for a disaster is huge. So when we come in, uh, we send the climber up the tree, bring it down in pieces, pull the limbs out either through a gate or out to the yard or out to the fence to the chipper to chip everything up. In this situation, we use all the same gear that we use to drop the top of the tree down to bring down each 200 pound log. We use the same device that we use to lower the top to bring down each log safely to the ground so that it doesn't bounce or cause damage. Safety ultimately dictates that we lower each chunk until it's down to a safe level. As you can tell, the climber has timed his climbing process so that the ground crew can keep the landing zone clear of debris for the most part, thus making cleanup easier. He only goes up the tree once, and if he's really good, he will allow the ground crew to do all the cleanup before he gets to the bottom. That was funny. When the tree is down to a manageable level, plus or minus 25 feet, he ties the rope off to the top of the tree for two purposes. One, so that he can repel himself to the ground, and two, so that there is a tie line uh, at the top of the tree so the ground he has a rope to pull to ensure the log lands exactly where you want it to. Then, finally, the log and stump are cut into firewood and stacked prior to the final cleanup with leaf and stick rakes, where all the debris is hauled off and you're left not even knowing that the tree was there. We'd be happy to come out and talk to you about any of your tree needs, whether it be trimming, limbing, dropping, or chopping. We do it all. Remember, estimates and consultations are always free.